Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Monster Hunter World. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a fantastic day, and I am super excited. I have uh, played Monster Hunter World for PS4 extensively, and it just released on PC. So basically, this episode zero, as I'm going to call it, uh, is essentially going to be all kind of the, the beginning of the game stuff, the opening cutscenes, the tutorials, all that kind of stuff that you can't skip. Um, so if you're not interested in following the story of the game, uh, if you don't want to see uh, the initial hunts and all that kind of stuff, uh, you can skip the episode zero and start with episode one. Episode one uh, will be the first proper uh, monster hunt. And if you're not familiar with Monster Hunter World... It's a game where you hunt monsters. It's in the name. Monster Hunter. I mean, you, you hunt monsters. <laughs> but anyway, uh, let's get into it. We're going to go ahead and start a brand new game. There we go. Yes, begin new adventure. And uh, we will have some cutscenes and stuff like that that I will shut up for. Sisters and brothers of the Fifth Fleet, it's time. I'll keep my farewell brief. Never was much with words. Once you board this ship, there's no turning back. The next ground your feet will touch will be that of the new world. If any of you have lost your nerve, then step away now and let no one judge you. Very well. Then sail safe and strong. And may the Sapphire Star Light your way. Almost there. You ready to grab this new world by the horns? Don't know about you, but it feels like ages since I left home to join the commission. So, nervous? Believe you me, I get it. Anything could happen to us, but hey, that's yep. happened. Uh. Hey, aren't you one of the A-list hunters? What? No way! So are we! Hey! Tell us your name. All right, so now we get to customize our character and our Palico cat friend. So let me get that done. All right, there we go. We have Shadow, our feline friend, and then myself named Sheridan, a grizzled old hunter who has been through many trials and tribulations over his life and uh, gotten tough so, and scary. How about a toast? <laughs> to the A-list! And the commission! Cheers! <laughs> <sighs> so, tell me, what's your theory? The Elder Dragons must migrate to the New World for some reason. <sighs> After running the research commission for 40 odd years, the guild's itching for an answer. They say the Fifth Fleet's got the best shot at crack in this case, and I agree! Keep it down. Hey, speaking of, A-listers usually operate in teams of two. Have you sat down with your partner yet? <laughs> Listen to that. <sighs> rough out there. The waves are picking up. That 
It's got a mean landfall. You're on the A-list, right? Huh. Meowdy do. I'm not psychic, but I do have pretty good ears. Ah, put her there. I happen to be an A-lister myself. Oh, whoa! <laughs> All right, there we go. Now we can move. This is uh, basically a movement Hello? tutorial. Anybody there? Handler's yelling. I am playing with a PlayStation 4 controller, uh, but all the on-screen prompts are for Xbox oh, controllers. <laughs> Look what happened to the ship. So if I mess up any of the uh, button prompts and stuff like that in my we speaking, uh, bear with me. And that's like for the entirety of this Monster Hunter series. I'm just warning you in advance. All right, there we go. It's not safe here. This way. Yep, let's go. I will say I do love the soundtrack in Monster Hunter World. One of my favorite soundtracks that I've come across uh, in recent memory. Just the music is just so good. And as for the handler, she just never shuts up, ever, for like the entirety of the game, so that's a thing. Let's just work our way up, ow. That's all right, we're fine. There we go. Yep, we're on a giant dragon thing, it appears. Alright, let's get out of here. Away we go! Ah, oh, Sheridan, you should have just let her fall. Would save you a lot of headache later. <laughs> Look at the size of that thing, though. Man, welcome to Monster Hunter. Thing is huge. You're gonna feel that one tomorrow. <laughs> All right, here we go. 
Now we're in the ancient forest, the first of the major areas in the game. Well, part of one at least. Looks like we're right around here. The Research Commission's base of operations is here. This is where our ship was supposed to dock. For now, I think it would be best if we make our way to base. I concur. The map should help us find our way. Let's go. Okay. Uh, I will probably customize a bunch of different things. Uh, one thing I do want to do real quick. Uh, options. I think it is... Head armor. Here we go. Hide. Never really been a fan of uh, helmets in games that have cutscenes. I always appreciate the option to turn it off. And I think it just looks a little cooler. So I want to turn that off before... Uh, I'll take some time... Once we actually get into the city and I uh, and and whatnot to customize my settings and get them all the way I like it because I think you do have to mostly do it um, per save file. The research commission's headquarters. But that's all right. Come on, let's get going. Well, there's our guy in all of his glory. Are you coming, handler? Let's go. We want to get back. According to the map, to get to HQ, we need to. Hmm. Some handler you are, you can't even read a map. Come on now. Let's go. Please, handler. <laughs> These Abdenoths seem every bit as docile as the ones back home. These guys are harmless. Decent source of meat, but at the moment I don't actually have a weapon. Looks I've got like this little hunting knife out. that I can't actually use. But I can't actually fight anything. And this is why we're doing an episode zero. Because this is the first, like... Oh, well, the length of this episode. However long this episode is, the first that much of the game is just a lot of, like... Use left stick to move. Do things. Follow the handler. And uh, it's, it's, the game takes a little while to get going. But, you know, that's why we do an episode zero. That way, episode one, we get to the good stuff. There's one over here, too. Come on. I think I found the way back to base. And just to kind of, uh, my reiterate. If you lose sight of me, just follow the scout flies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lead you right scout to flies. Me. I know. I know. Uh, just to kind of reiterate, uh, Monster Hunter World was my first Monster Hunter game that I played. I got it for PS4 uh, a few months side. after it came out. I wasn't in the initial rush and i absolutely fell in love with it i probably put oh man four five hundred hours into it which for a game for me that i'm not recording is like an absurd level <laughs> because i i very rarely play games that i don't record uh, i just don't have the time for it but uh yeah i fell in love with the game i decided to, as soon as it comes out on pc i'd start up a series on it uh, because it's it's just I have the capability to record console games, but it's honestly just a lot more trouble than it's worth. It's much easier from like a workflow perspective. Okay, easy there. These guys, I'll tell you, these uh, from a work from a workflow perspective, it's a lot easier for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. We just need to hide. Piece of cake. Um, it's a lot easier for me to record games on PC because then everything's all in one place and software makes it easy and you don't have to deal with capture cards and all that kind of nonsense. Uh, so I kind of held off, but I'm super excited. And, uh, you know, okay. there's some people... Monster Hunter as a franchise has been around for a very, very long time. And there's some people who have played Monster Hunter for a long time who will say, Monster Hunter World is not really a Monster Hunter game. It's, it's a dumbed down Monster Hunter game. And like, if you think that and you're a Monster Hunter longtime veteran player, fine, whatever. <laughs> More power to you. But I enjoy Monster Hunter World. Uh, I did pre-order 
Uh, Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate, which is coming out for Switch later this month. Um, don't know if I'm going... Well, I probably won't do a series on that, because, again, console games are a pain to record. But my plan is to have a pretty long-running series of Monster Hunter. And if this is... Uh, of Monster Hunter World. And if this is a game that you've never heard of... Um, if you've never played a Monster Hunter uh, a Monster Hunter game or never seen a Monster Hunter game, this is a game that you can essentially play forever. Um, the, there is stuff being added to it every uh, every so often. There's free uh, free DLC updates. Uh, there's events and stuff like that. But the the basic like gameplay loop is oh hi this guy. How are you gonna fight him without a weapon, dude? <laughs> yeah, just go. Yeah, please eat the handler. Do it, Great Jagras. Eat the handler, or or not. All right. Well, this guy's gonna help us out. This way. Hurry. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Move. The basic gameplay loop is hunt monsters, get materials from monsters, turn materials into weapons and armor rinse repeat and it's one of those games that like when you explain it it sounds a lot more boring than it is that guy that guy is uh, basically t-rex dude and Janaf, very big very scary first kind of actual tough enemy in the game look at him just Whipping that Jagras around like it's nothing. Hey. All right, we've Yo, made it home. Let's go. Okay. Amazing, ain't it? Just look at this gate. It's like nature meant for us to build a stara right here. A stara. I like it. <laughs> it's his home base. The rest of the fifth are already here. You're the last to arrive. Well, we got sidetracked. Okay, set him down here. here. Take it nice and Leave the tape up your shoulder. Hold still for a bit. Hey, you guys made it! Be right back. You're alive. Had it rough, huh? Hey. When we couldn't find you two, we were starting to sweat bullets. You scared us. We were talking about going out to look for you. <laughs> All's well that ends well. Hey, we need a hand! Sorry. Hey, Come on. Catch you later. <laughs> <laughs> this here's our trade yard. I guess the name says it all. Look at all the people. The stuff. Incredible. Right? <laughs> We've got it all here. We've got hunters to do all the exploring. Scholars to do the research. Technicians to keep them going. This place is the beating heart of the commission. Wait here a sec. Commander, I found him. Welcome to Aster. I guess I will talk for the commander. When you've been in command as long as I have, you start to learn who's capable and who isn't. Now, as much as I'd like to get you up to speed, I'm being pulled in about eight directions at once. We'll cover the important matters at council, which I'll be convening once things settle down. I expect you two to be there, of course. Your reputations precede you. The guild spoke highly of you as individuals. Think what you can do as a team. And before I forget, your furry friend was looking for you. Poor thing washed up not too long ago. Hey, my kitty survived. Go ahead and have a look around Astera. A horn will sound when it's time for council. Well, off you go. There we go. Okay, I'll give you the grand tour. 
Let's start by looking for your palico. This is our stockpile. They carry most of the basic necessities. You should drop by later to see what they have. I will say the game is uh, produced and made in Japan and the facial animations, the speech animations are meant for Japanese audio. So, <laughs> so uh, sometimes they'll, their lips will keep moving after their English words and over here. That's the cause of the, the mismatch. I suppose I could play with Japanese audio and English subtitles. Hmm. You're with the Commission's Fifth Fleet, right? The old man in charge, my grandfather, was with the first. That was a long time ago. Me? I'm not with any fleet. Born and bred right here. Never even been to the old world. Here's our smithy. This is where you can craft weapons and armor. You'll be here a lot. I will. I will indeed be there a lot. Look at this, this is the forge. This is where you get all sorts of good stuff. This is where you turn in your monster resources and get gear. It's we'll be there here. regularly. Want to get going? Yeah, I do. Let's go. I'm tired of walking around. I want to do things. I, am so there. I bet you are. All you ever do is eat and cheer and and nag me. <laughs> if you can't tell, I'm not a huge fan of the handler. <laughs> In fact, if I could remove one thing from Monster Hunter World, it would be the handler. This here's our canteen. Hmm. Hey, over there. Hey, look, it's Shadow, my furry friend. Hey, you! <laughs> I knew you'd pull through. And there's the horn for council. Also, I should probably mention the armor right. set that I'm currently wearing. Council. It's the origin right. armor set. Uh, it's a pre-order bonus, I believe. Uh, I don't think it's possible to get it outside. Now that of you are all here, let us begin council. After tracking a migrating elder dragon across the sea, the fifth fleet have finally arrived in Astera. Give them a warm welcome. They're a fine group, worthy comrades who will help see the research commission's long efforts finally rewarded. Would you like to say a few words? Thank you, sir. We're ready to roll up our sleeves and get our hands dirty. This here is the commission's core team. You should all get to know each other. Looking forward to it. Now, down to business. The latest monster to make the Elder Crossing is known as Zora Magdaros. A huge monster with a mountain of fire upon its back. The Research Commission's job is to discover exactly why the Elder Dragons are migrating to the New World. Elder Dragons have been with us since the dawn of time. Altering the ecosystem, reshaping the land, leaving disaster in their wake. Once every decade or so, they flock to this continent. But for what reason? With the Fifth's help, we will find the missing link. Here, here. Now we're talking! Hunters, for the time being, I need you to focus on investigating our Jagras problem and securing Astera. Start by investigating the Jagras' habitat. Find out what makes him tick, and we'll go from there. Right. We're on it, sir. Everyone else, you know the drill. Make sure these hunters have everything they need. Now we're talking! You two, make it a priority to learn how we do things around here. You'll find good teachers, so don't be afraid to ask. You heard him. Stick with me and you'll have no problems. The Fifth Banner promises a change in the wind. It's your job to fulfill that promise. All right, dismissed. All right, there we go. Mm-hmm. Not even here a whole day and you already got your first mission. You really are ready to get your hands dirty. Well, let's go look into this Jagras problem, but you'll need a weapon first. The box full of equipment you can use in your quarters. Come on, I'll show you the way. Alrighty. So, uh, in my time with the PS4 version of Monster Hunter, 
Uh, I was primarily a bow main, uh, so I'm fairly competent with bow. Uh, I also spent a pretty decent amount of time playing greatsword, so I'm okay with greatsword, uh, and I'm I'm okay with sword and shield as well. I also played a while as a, a sword and shield uh, player, but I consider myself a bow main. However, uh, I think I want to pick up a new weapon for this series, so I think I'm... I also want to look at these. Are these... Forager's Luck, huh? What's Forager's Luck do? Likelihood of rare gathering points respawning. Okay, well, that's pretty cool. Um, let's go ahead and... Hmm, why don't we go... S switch Axe for the moment. That's a fairly fun weapon. Kind of flashy. Does some cool stuff. Let's go with that for the time being. I've played it a little bit, but I wouldn't consider myself amazing with it. I've played all. I've played with all of the weapons a little bit. Uh, and I think we'll talk with you. You can get more familiar with your weapons at the training area. Just talk to the housekeeper to get started. Uh, don't need to go to the training area at the moment, so I think we're good. Um, I think throughout this series we will probably be playing with a wide variety of different <laughs> weapons. But I'm going to start with Switch Axe. Now that you have access to the armory and provision stockpile, grab what you need. Once you're done, go meet your handler in the canteen to sign up for a quest. All right. Fantastic. So, I am going to head up to the canteen. We'll just go up the lift. There we go. We definitely want to talk to the muscular chef, whose name is a pun, and who's amazing. <laughs> hey, welcome to the canteen. The best place for you to boost your hunt. You're from the fifth, right? Well, let me clue you in to what the canteen is all about. Games, health, stamina, whatever, max games. Go on and sit down over there over the counter, Scrowny. When you're ready to get your pre-hunt on, let me know. All right, so you want to, uh, you want to eat before every quest, because it just gives you buffs of various types. Uh, let's just go attack up small, get a little more stamina. We'll watch this cutscene. It does play that every time, but you can skip it. But since it's the first time, I'll show it anyway. And we'll munch down on some delicious food. That's, I mean, quite a meal there. All right, there we go. So now I'm going to go ahead and get some uh, stuff set up. Like I want to set up my loadout uh, and uh, all this kind of stuff. Um, it shouldn't take me. I mean, I should just be able to store all these, right? Yeah, we don't want uh, ammo with us currently. So we'll just deposit all that stuff. Um, I would like to start with. 10 potions and 10 antidotes and I really don't need the raw meat so let's just move that over I really don't need the rations either there we go so then we hit start and save this loadout now what that'll allow us to do is whenever we come in here we can hit start and load it out so if we have a whole bunch of stuff in our inventory I don't have to do this every time I can just quickly switch to this uh, and that will be good. The other thing I want to do is I want to go in and change all my options. So let me get that done. All right, I've got everything changed. So I'll just quit. If you want to see the settings, I'll just uh, flip through them real quick and you can pause the video. But just in case someone wants to use these same settings. There they are. That's all of it. All right, so that's done. And then the other thing we need to do... Uh, well, we really don't need to customize our radio menu and stuff like that just yet. We'll worry about that later, although I do want to do one quick thing. We want to say you, uh, let's see, is it, ah, check loadout, there we go. And then we want to go item bar, and I think that is all good. Good. Yeah, 
Okay, cool. We'll, we'll deal more with radial menus and stuff like that later. But I think we've done everything we need to do. Right oh, yeah. First mission is to survey the Jagras habitat. Then we gotta call a certain number of them in order to secure the area. We can depart as soon as you sign up for the quest. For? Wonder, the a wild and wondrous new world is waiting for us out there. All right. So we go assigned. We say, I want to do this one, accept the quest. And then wait a minute for it to load. And I will say load times are way faster on my computer than on PS4, which I am super happy with. And I do have like a pretty decent computer. Uh, but th like that was one of my big gripes with the PS4 version was every time you did a quest, every time you went into a new area, the load times were pretty ridiculous. Um, but not to the point where it was like unplayable, but enough that it got annoying. And right. they're, they're way, way, way uh, less on my computer. I am running this off of an SSD. All right, here's the first job, blah, blah, blah. Number one, complete the objective to complete the quest. Easy, right? Each quest has an objective. You can't consider the quest done until you complete that objective. Our current objective is to eliminate a specified number of Jagras. Let's check the map. Hey, did you know that to, co to complete the quest, you need to, to do the things There's that are required to complete the quest? Remember? Stupid I handler. I saw them somewhere around here. Want to check it out? Rule number two. Use the supply box. The commission supplies us with a loadout of certain items for each quest. They're in the supply box over there. Have a look and decide what you should take along. There we go. So, oh, we yeah. will go in here. And I will take all of the ammo, because we can stockpile it, and even if we're never going to use it, we can just sell it. Wanna get going? I'm ready. Let's go. Wanna get going? I do wish that the game gave you the option to turn off all the, to, to like, get rid of the, to not do the, you know, there was like a tutorial version and a non-tutorial version. Also, especially in the early game. Keep in mind that what you're able it's to do really to important to gather all the stuff that you can get your hands on. So I am you're going to do a bit of that keep your for a while, at least. I'll mark gathering sites and monster positions on the wildlife map. I thought I equipped that. I guess not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, Handler. I know all about you. You can also capture pets and animals and things. Gives you a little bit more stuff, research points, and fills out your bestiary and all that kind of stuff. There we go. Grab that. And we'll, now we get to see if I remember how to play Switch Axe. Although, admittedly... It's been... A while, and Jagras are not exactly a overly challenging target. There we go. Hey. They're on the run. Ah, they're running away. All right, we'll let them go. Grab all the monster materials you can. We do want to get all this stuff. And use this to make new armor, which is going to be very, very, very important. Let's see. Grab a little bit of that. And when using a melee weapon, you do have to keep it sharp. There's a, uh, a gauge in the upper right. It's yellow right now. There you go. That gauge right there. In the upper... Did I say upper right? I meant upper left. But either way, if that runs out, your damage goes down uh, very significantly. And it goes through multiple stages. So when using a melee weapon, Oops. we want to make full use... Of all the good stuff. Whatever you can. Ah, switch axe. <laughs> Let's see, we need one more. There we go. So we've got that done. Completed the quest, killed all the Jagras. 
And now after the quest is finished, you get like approximately 60 minutes or 60 minutes, 60 seconds to gather all the, to carve all the stuff and run around and gather any extra materials, all that kind of stuff. Uh, it's like 60 seconds if you kill a monster. And it's, uh, I want to say 20 or 30 seconds if you uh, capture a monster, which we can't do right now, but we will be able to do in the relatively near future. A couple quests down the road. There we go. Get all that stuff. And I don't think there's anything else here that we really care about. Maybe we'll come across something running out this way. Another bone pile or some bugs or something, but uh, I'm not seeing anything. All right. Good to go. So there we go. We have completed that quest. Oh, that's new. This little take all button. Used to have to go through and uh, grab each one of those things individually. So that addition of the take all button, I really like that. I wish they would add that to the console version. <laughs> or maybe they have. I don't know. I haven't played the console version in a, a couple weeks now. And now that we have completed our very first quest, now we get to actually start hunting monsters properly, which means uh, we, it wants us to be in an instance. Commander says, fine work taking down those Jagras. Hmm, so there's no difference in their habitat, but their numbers are increasing. I see. I may be stating the obvious, but these, uh, but the Jagras aren't the only danger lurking around these parts. I've also received reports of a Kestodon herd getting out of hand. This must be all because Zoramagros made landfall. It's got everything riled up. Well, it's going to be your job to quiet them down. We'd like you to investigate this Kestodon herd and call their numbers. I'm going along. Wouldn't want you to get hurt. That's the field team leader. Uh, no, I do not want voice chat on. All right. Now that you've got some materials, why don't we head over to the smithy to see what you can do with them? There we go. So we'll get our login bonus. You get that uh, once per day. And we get a whole bunch of goodies. Which are all relatively useful. Oh, hello. And we can talk with... A whole bunch of different people who will give us information. I don't know about you guys. I'm one of those people that just cannot have exclamation marks around. They like, they drive me crazy. So I have to talk to everyone. Commission is special. Different from your past undertakings. If I had to take a guess, it's not about hunting down the Elder Dragons or punishing them for the damage they cause. The Commission seeks an understanding of their place in nature and ours. That's the point. The Elder Dragons are nature, and it's as futile to try and punish nature as it is to oh, run from hunting. it. But knowing nature, now that's something we can do. We're going to face some real challenges. The best course might not always be clear, but before you take life or move to defend it, understand it. That's what makes you a hunter. Well, isn't that just sweet? All right. Uh, let's go talk with the provisioner up here. Nice weapon. Guess that means it's time to get hooked up with some supplies. We carry pretty much everything you need. So if you're ever short on anything, I'm your guy. But as much as I'd love to take all your money, Zenny, money, same thing, it's still a good idea to gather as much as you can while out in the field. So what you need? All right, nothing. I actually don't need anything from you at the moment. And then over here, this is our researcher dude. Yes. Hunter from the fifth, are you? Then you must have finished your first quest. This is the ecological research headed up by yours truly. Tell me, did you find any monster data out there? Tracks, gashes, that sort of thing? Data tells us a story about the monsters, an elaborate and interesting one at that. Your job in the field team is to track the monsters, collect data, and advance the study. Our job is to take that data, analyze it, and compile our findings for the commission. What we learn helps you out in the field, too, so you see we need each other. Drop by here anytime, and I'll show you what, you're working, uh, what we're working on. All right, there we go. So we can look at our monster field guide, and we can see any monster that we've encountered... Uh, it will give uh, basic information, and the more you encounter that monster and find tracks and stuff like that, kill it, capture it, etc., you'll get more and more information about it. And we've gotten a couple of the... That's for the large monsters. The small ones, you just need to kill them or capture them, and then you get basically all of the information in one go. Let's see, is there anything else around here? I suppose we probably do need to go up to the workshop. Yeah, 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 go away. Workshop, there we go. 
We'll just pop up here. And we want to head in. We'll talk with this lady first. My, my, my. Look a lot more hunterly with a weapon on your back. Imagine that. I would think so. This is the armory. If you need a weapon and don't have time to gather the materials or the ticket, blah, blah, blah. So basically, you can buy, like, super basic gear here. You want to buy, like, the, the most basic armor, basic weapons. Uh, she will get more stuff later, and she will give you some very useful missions later on, but it's not all bad. Let's talk with this guy. Look who's back with materials. Step right up and welcome to the smithy. You'll be needing my services a lot. What I do for you is simple. Whenever you go out in the field and gather materials, I turn those materials into weapons and armor. Drop by when you find something new and interesting. Here, I'll give you some materials as a welcome present and use them to upgrade your equipment. So, let's go ahead and, first of all, sort that by tree. Let's go ahead and upgrade our weapon. Can also, I could make a bone switch axe instead, I think think I might have the let's see do I have the materials for it weapons uh switch axe I do all right let's make the bone axe it has a little bit better damage the early game weapons are all pretty bad but you'll get the materials to upgrade them fairly quickly and turn them into significantly more useful things so yes I will equip that and then we want to go upgrade, sort that, come over here, and we can use, okay, so that'll be 350 as opposed to 315. They're both power file, which is what we want. Okay. Ooh, that one does have green sharpness, though. But I think we're better off with the, the raw damage. So there we go. Now we have the Bone Axe 2 equipped. And we can also forge armor. Uh, I definitely want to do this as quickly as possible. Um, we basically just want to get, like, the whole bone set. So let's start with this one. And there we go. Got ourselves a little bit of bone armor, which I will equip. So I think that's all good. I think we're in uh, in good shape. We've got some new stuff. Whatever. Let's go talk with the airship engineer. Greetings. Going well. Flying monster attack the airship. Sure, they're reckless. Blah blah blah. These guys talk a lot. Been working on making a better airship. One that we could go use to rescue them, but between the new world's nasty weather and the strong winds hurtling down the ravine, it's been one failure after another. Yeah, well, we'll help him later with important things. And now, I think all that's basically left is to talk with the chef. You interested in bulking up the canteen with more ingredients? Now, that's what I'm talking about. Take care of the quest Fungal Flexin in the Ancient Forest, and that menu will be more packed then a great Jagris's belly. Finish that one up. I'll be able to get my paws on the goods. Don't let me down. So you can basically take on quests and find... Re There's a lot of different ways to do it, but you can add more ingredients to the, uh, the canteen, which will essentially allow you to make better and better meals, which will give you better buffs. But I think this is a good place to end episode zero. If I remember correctly, the next hunt is actually a proper hunt where we're hunting an actual large monster. Um... So, I think I am going to call this one here. Guys, if you enjoyed episode zero, you know what to do. Link's in the description below, so check those out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.